Helmut Marko had announced me as the new team principal and I didn't want to let him down. When I first joined Red Bull, a lot of people felt that career-wise I was committing suicide. People saw Red Bull in the early days as a party team. That was the time when we announced the move from Toro Rosso to Red Bull Racing. It became clear very early that he was strong, he was quick. I look back now, it's nice, but also makes you realise a lot of things have happened since. Broke my leg in 2009. The first win with Red Bull Racing was obviously something very special. We had this huge regulation change, and so all the established principles kind of went out of the window. I'd watched for years other team principals going and collecting trophies, and to join that club was phenomenal. My first Grand Prix victory, it was Definitely a huge relief. Brazil 2009, we were fighting for the championship until the last race. There was enormous fear when we did miss out on the championship that that's it. Really to come that close and then to miss the target, yeah, it's a very strong emotion. That race was probably the biggest highlight of my career. I was furious, absolutely furious. There was obviously a lot of tension within the team. It was just the lowest possible point that I can remember in motorsport at that time. And we genuinely try to give both drivers exactly the same amount of support. Against all the odds, Sebastian won the Drivers' World Championship. I crossed the line and I was empty, you know. I started crying under the helmet. It was very difficult for all of us, I think, to understand what we have achieved. You've taken on some phenomenal teams and you've come out on top. You'll look back at that in years to come and say, you know, that's when you're at your peak performing well. I remember turning away because I couldn't even watch the screen. It does taste simply the best when you're on the top step and you win the race. It's just a, a, a wonderful feeling, you know, when you win. I said before the race that I don't want to know where Fernando is and what we have to achieve. It was the most horrendous race. Cross the line and now you're free.